Want some of the best metal interviews and tour dates possible? Check out our local sponsor, Death by Metal STL. Some of the most amazing interviews with some of the biggest metal bands in the industry. Check these guys out at www.deathbymetalstl.com. One of the best metal magazines in the industry. Always supporting the independent artists and always pushing independent music. Remember, you heard it right here on The Pit. Whoa. Well, howdy, folks. It's your old pal, Captain Spaulding, again. Yes, I'm here to tell you about a brand new attraction, Mary the Monkey Girl. Oh, yeah, that's right. This here little honey is half real human, half monkey. I brought all the way from the wilds of Borneo. So y'all come in, make sure you bring little Johnny and Susie with you. She'll scare the holy guacamole out of them. <laughs> and remember, while you're down here, pick up your Captain Spaulding for President T-shirts. Come in all shapes and sizes. Small, medium, large, and jumbo for our big bone friends. Ha <laughs> ha! We all know how you got that way, too, huh? Yes, from eating my delicious fried chicken. <laughs> oh, yes. Just keeps getting better all the time. God bless America, and God bless Captain Spaulding. <laughs> What's going on, guys? We are back. Man, I'm fucking having a great time. We're just sitting here goddamn clowning in the fucking home studio. Dude, fucking want to give a shout-out to our sponsor, Death by Metal STL, right now. I want to give a shout-out to our other sponsor, our newest merger sponsor and uh, main producing company, uh, Planet 13 Entertainment. If you are familiar with them, go check them out on Facebook. And they have websites. they pretty much everywhere on social media. Uh, you can't really miss Travis Spade's work. He is an extraordinary guy doing extraordinary things. And is definitely no small time shit there. So, uh, again, phenomenal show so far. It's been kind of rainy and nasty outside. But it looks like the rain's finally given up. And I think the storm's passed. Uh Looking forward to Whitechapel and Oceano shit! I'm fucking excited, obviously. I think I'm gonna, you know, jizz myself a little bit. I got a, I got a metal boner right now for these bands because I'm fucking freaking out. Because I get to meet, like, one of my, like, idols forever and ever. Like, I've been following Whitechapel for fucking ever, man. Like, since they first pretty much came out. Like, I've been, I've been totally standing by them. I've stood by every album they put out. Even the last one. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Hate on me all you want. I thought the last one was good. I don't give a shit what anybody thinks. I think the last one was good. There. I said it. There's my answer. Because some of you guys were like, What's your favorite Night Chapel album? Do you, even like the, do you even like the last album? Well, you know, there are a lot of White Chapel albums. And they're all great. And I don't really think I can say I have a favorite. But I do love a lot of them. And I won't say that... My favorite was the last album, but I won't say that it was bad. I think it was really a good album. It was a little a little different from what they were doing. <laughs> Excuse me. And uh, they're, they're really pulling it together, and they're keeping up with what they want to do. And, and they're going to evolve in their music just like any band's going to evolve in their music over time. I mean, and they're just to that point where their their music's evolving. It's changing because they have different tastes, and that's just how it works, man. Bands always change and evolve eventually. You know, and if they don't, you know, and and they actually keep making money by not changing. Hey, man, that's a very, very rare thing they got going for them, and uh, it's not a typical thing you see in the industry. So, just being realistic here, you know, you definitely want to evolve with the times to keep up with the industry standards. So, that being said, it's definitely a, a hard job to keep up with most of the time. But overall, I love my job and I love what I do. So let's uh, let's get into this next mix. Got some Aversions Crowns coming up. Got some Beacons coming up. Beyond Devastation, Bind the Sacrifice, Bound in Fear, uh, Breakdown Insanity. Damn, a lot of B-bands, man. Got some Carnifex coming up after that. And uh, Crafting the Conspiracy with uh, their song, Human Error. Oh, love that band. Want to give a shout-out to them. Uh, they actually sent this uh, to us a-, a while back, and they are fucking pretty dope. So... Let's dive into this mix, man. You guys listening to The Pit.
Well, there's you from my ass again. 